if you want a really quick simple and delicious lunch supper dinner this recipe will tick all the boxes uh, we're using these raviolis i want to show you these are part of the simply better collection so um i done a recipe a while back ago it's an instagram with the buffalo mozzarella we roasted off some butternut squash with some spinach these are delicious we love this with some of the simply better tomato sauce and some parmesan cheese they're quick they're delicious and they're excellent but these are the raviolis we're going to use so ricotta is a cheese and chanterelle is a mushroom everyone it's a wild mushroom full of flavor and really 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 tasty so first thing we're going to do i'll open these up for you and just show you them now when you open them if you're not going to use them all what i recommend is just simply wrap them in cling film and keep them in the fridge there's a great shelf life on these so this is what they look like a little hat so they do so it's like a little ravioli there so we're just going to blanch them off in some salted water in a moment i want to show you a really quick and tasty sauce so heat my pan we're going to use some nice rapeseed oil so why rapeseed oil you get a high smoke temperature it's irish produced and um, very very healthy for your cholesterol for your heart and it's a really lovely oil and we're supporting Irish farmers, so we tick all the boxes. Okay, I'm gonna let that heat up just for a moment. I'm gonna to talk to you what we're gonna put into it. So we're gonna use this smoked bacon here. So what I've done, I've just, um, it's the whiskey smoked bacon, the Irish streaky rashers, board be a quality mark, so it's Irish bacon, which is really important. And you can just have a look at them here. That's the way they come there. So you can just simply grill them. I love them for breakfast. I'm gonna show you a recipe with some croissants and smoked bacon fried or poached egg i'm not sure yet i like both and then a tomato relish i'll show you a little recipe a uh, really really nice for that so we've cut the smoked bacon into little lardons which means they're little strips that's all we've done i love the streaky bacon full of flavor that's for me ticks all the boxes so this is going to go in here to our hot pan so remember with the rapeseed oil you get a higher smoke temperature now i'm going to let that just keep it up on a full heat so i'll just spread it out using my spatula, using the good big nonstick pan I'm using. And then we're gonna put in some mushrooms into this. We're gonna put in some garlic and the mushrooms that I'm using here, actually I want to show you. This one here is called a shiitake mushroom. So it's an exotic mushroom and this actually is growing in Ireland, would you believe it? A lot of these exotic mushrooms would have originated in Japan and they really are lovely. So I'm just gonna slice this and you never wash mushrooms. All you do is just simply wipe them with a damp uh, tissue uh, a clean j cloth something like that so slice them with the stalk and all on so that's the shiitake mushroom and then we're going to use some of these chestnut mushrooms here so again i've just wiped them and i'm slicing them just like that just use them take your time when you're doing this and this is going to go into the pan i'll put a bit more shiitake into that okay i just want to just start off with the bacon as i say that's in there it's cooking up nicely nice hot pan dry cure there's none of that white and um, kind of like watery liquid coming out of it and that's really important so i'm gonna put in my raviolis boil and water a teaspoonful of salt and i'm using this and i might put in a wee bit more you don't need to put uh, oil in when you're cooking pasta and this is the oriel sea salt the pgi it's the only sea salt in ireland that has the PGI protected geographical indication. So they're great people, they're great producers. Okay, so I'm gonna put in, I think you need four, five, maybe five, six, whatever you want. So I'll put in there, I four, one more for luck. Okay, so we love, love having these raviolis to keep in the fridge. Once I open them like that, don't forget to cover them in some cling film. Okay, in goes our mushrooms. We'll just have a little look at the bacon. I haven't turned down the heat. I'm crisping it up because the smoked bacon make everything taste delicious. So if you wanted this for like a, a vegetarian dish, you could just use the mushrooms and then some garlic, which I'm gonna use. Okay, a couple of cloves of garlic. We're gonna use my garlic crusher. Just put a little bit of pressure. Okay, you rock it over and back. And then the garlic is like that and we'll just go over and then you just scrape it off. And that's your garlic crushed. We'll do one more. So we love garlic. It should be full of flavor and full of goodness. And that's really, really important. Now, so that's that there. 
just let that cook for a minute butter we want one little piece of butter in here so just kind of just put up the butter in there let that just melt and then into this I'm using some creme fraiche and this is produced in uh, Conway in County Donegal so it's a creme fraiche it's smooth you can use regular cream it doesn't really matter but you need to be careful because this sometimes can split so turn up my pasta water okay we're just going to give this if you'll have a little look just before i add in the creme fraiche that's cooking up nicely there look at that so about half the tub should be enough now i am going to use some of the pasta water about two spoonfuls and then we're just going to mix this and i'm going to turn down the pan lovely you could put lemon zest into this i'm going to put in a little bit of the simply better pesto i really like it so if you look at it now it looks really nice and creamy so i've turned it down another little bit i think i don't want it too heavy i don't want it too thick and i don't want it too gloopy you could use stock i'm not using that the seasoned pasta, pasta water is absolutely perfect for this okay we're going to use some of the parmesan cheese and this is the grated parmesan cheese i'm using or you can use the block they're both 30 months matured so i'm going to put in a spoonful of this just give it a little stir to my raviolis they should be nearly ready so a large heap spoonful i've switched off the gas now put in that there see that's nice and creamy and this actually with chicken breast and pasta is so delicious so this is our pesto here that i'm using okay this is the fresh pesto so they also have the ambient pesto but this is always kept in the fridge so it's a really really lovely i'm gonna put in that and i love basil i love toasted pine nuts i love kind of all those lovely flavors so give this a little stir and then what we're ready to do we're ready to lift these out the raviolis so just lift them out sit them over for a minute and then put them in to the pan so another little spoonful of your pasta water and then we're just going to mix this all through and then we're just going to finish this with a little bit of basil and serve it up it's as easy as that so just warm that through there okay some lovely fresh basil I think I must have used uh, fresh basil in about 90% of my recipes that I've done. So you can tell that I really, really like basil. Uh, normally you cut it or tear it if you want to and don't leave it on the board. Say if I leave that now for 20 minutes, it'll go black, but that goes straight into the sauce. Fresh herbs are brilliant. And this time of year is the time of year for fresh basil. So we're gonna serve this up okay i'm just going to use my spoon and just very gently just lift this off try not to scrape the pan so we have our ravioli so many will i serve are you hungry so we'll put the sauce over the raviolis you could put a little bit of wilted spinach on that we're going to put a little bit of salad just spread that out a little bit sure may as well use them up and honestly this is so quick the creme fraiche you can use the fat-free creme fraiche i wouldn't let it in the door but that's just me uh, <laughs> that's a joke by the way but this is a really lovely product i still have extra there so you can use all all of that and then i think just for a little bit of freshness what i want to show you is some salad leaves with a tiny little bit of extra virgin olive oil a splash of balsamic because this is creamy and it's nice and it's rich and then we just literally place this on top and this will give lovely freshness so we have mustard we have a little bit of wild rocket in there i'm going to put a tiny little bit of black pepper just over the pasta and that is a quicker recipe for me the key is the really good raviolis that delicious smoked bacon with the mushrooms you get a lovely sauce and that is gorgeous with pasta with chicken even with a steak it's so good so try this recipe i used the ricotta and the chanterelle which is a wild mushroom ravioli and uh, yeah a little bit more parmesan maybe sure why not just kind of sprinkle it just like that Amelia. you can never have enough parmesan and there we go you can grate your own parmesan so guys the recipe 
as I say, for all my videos will be on the MacLean Facebook page. Enjoy this recipe and uh, happy cooking. And thank you. The feedback I'm getting is fantastic. So thank you. Happy cooking and enjoy this. Thank you.